In this episode, I'm going to talk to you about living overseas as an expat and a tourist. Because a lot of people don't realize when you're a tourist, you are treated a lot differently than if you were, say, a expat. So let me give you an example. Um, I have a friend that goes to the Philippines a lot. And he told me one time that he has so many friends, he'll get whatever he wants when he goes to the Philippines. Well, that's kind of true if you have money. Because when you run out of money, you're going to find out who your friends really are very quickly. So basically what will happen is there'll be two types of people. You'll find out the locals who are your friends will stick with you thick and thin. And then you'll find the locals who are there only for your money. So if you think that every single person's your friend when you arrive, you're kind of foolish because they're not. Even the expats, a lot of them are not your friends. Everybody wants something from you. Either they want friendship or they want money. You got to remember that and you got to differentiate that. So when you go to the Philippines or Thailand, Cambodia, Russia, any, any country in the world, make sure you know who your friends are. Just because you're on vacation and you spend $3,000 in a week doesn't make those people around you your friends. A lot of those people who come around you really are just looking for, uh, I would say, just somebody to make money off of as a business. So it's a business transaction. They got a car, they'll take you from the airport to your hotel, hotel back to the airport. It's a business transaction. They're not there to socialize or anything else. They might want to socialize, but the bottom line is they want to make money on top of it. I remember I got a text message one time from uh, a, a young lady who just happened to get into a motorcycle accident. And don't ask me why she texted me. She asked me if I could help her. And I thought she was lying and everything. But she asked me to come to my house. She gave me the address and if I could help her like go to the hospital and things. So I did. And I'm thinking, oh God, what's gonna happen here? But it winds up that she did get a motorcycle accident. She was badly bruised. She was badly beaten up. I mean, she fell off the motorcycle and was dragged. And I took her to the hospital. She didn't have a concussion. They x-rayed her. And so everything was fine. And they just told her to take a few days off. So uh, I paid her rent for the month and everything. And so when I was leaving, I called her on the phone from the airport, and she's like, who's this? I mean, who's this? I, for the last two weeks, I took care of you. I paid for your rent. I bought you food. I took you to the hospital. And two weeks later, I call you to say goodbye from the airport when I just talked to you like three hours earlier, and you're like, who's this? That's what I'm talking about. Now, living as an expat is a lot different you have a lot more friends and the friends are usually expats and a lot are locals and the locals you actually meet are people who want to be your friends they're not really asking for money and everything and you can really distinguish who these people are when you talk to them when you interact with them because if they do not they want you for money if they really want you for money they'll have nothing to do with you they'll do it for 15 20 minutes when they find out they you're not interested in spending money on them, a lot of them will go away. And that's how you can differentiate yourself from the expats and uh, local people. And the difference between living as an expat and as a tourist is the expat has more respect. The expat has people who really truly are looking out to be your friend and everything. While the tourists, the people are trying to look out to see how much money they can get off of you. So if you go to the restaurant, you go to a bar, you go wherever, they're looking at how much money they can get from you because that's how they make a living. They're paid to be in a bar, they're paid to be in the restaurant to make money. They're not in there to be socialized and say, hey John, let's go out after work. And he spends no money in there. So 